What is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing some stuff around the garage and uh, first thing I want to show you is the new car that's on this driveway. It's not mine but it is pretty cool. Uh, and then in addition to that I know at least we're going to get the vet spares painted. I don't, I don't know what else we're going to get done besides that but it should be kind of cool. Uh, I don't want to break it. Too bad. What up? How you doing? Uh, sell it for 1500 That's the Lancer. Uh, Fucking dime. Thousand bucks. It's yours. Well, since it decided to start raining out of nowhere, uh, we're going to take a look at the Beamer later. But for now, we're going to jack up the vet, take the wheels off, and start spraying them. We're lazy, so we're just going to lift up one side at a time, paint these, throw them back on, then do the other side. See brand new Nankangs for the front, and these are actually the factory size, unlike the rears, which is a 245-45-17. Rob's just now discovering that I have a unicycle. It's flat. Yeah, well we can fill it up. Is it hard to ride on? Yeah, dude, it's so hard. I mean for me anyways. Like I can go like 20 feet maybe. It's actually easier if you underfill it though, so don't fill it up too much. It might explode, by the way. Yeah, it's probably perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that. I mean, look better. <laughs> Admit you so I know. Obviously, uh, I don't have note cards or I couldn't find them anyway, so I decided to use these uh, strips for sanding for the uh, air file. And we'll see how this does. Honestly, I don't really care about getting overspray on the tire. I just don't want to get a ton on there. It's just because they're burners, like I'm gonna be replacing anything. And nice, now the wheels are getting wet. Fuck it. <laughs> as long as they're black, I honestly don't give a fuck. This is not how I usually spray paint, by the way. Just a little bit, is that right? <laughs> this is so bad. Looks better though. <laughs> so since there's crazy water on these, we know they're going to take forever to dry. Um, but like I said, I really don't care what they look like as long as they're black. But now we can take a look at the new car in the driveway. I have no idea what year this thing is, but it's a E46 M3 and it is salvage title as you can see by the front end. It's, uh, it's a little beat up, a little bit of frame damage. This is my buddy Chris's car and he plans to actually make this into like a full drift car. Uh, it's got full interior as you saw earlier in the video. Um, obviously airbag went off. but. Overall, it seems to be a pretty damn clean car. I think it's a really good chassis to start out with. Like, just this car alone, like factory, would be a really cool drift car. But the fact that he got this for obviously cheaper because it's salvage title, and you know, he has a love of the do. But after he fixes everything, gets it running and driving, I think this will be a really, really cool drift car. Frank with the 240 doesn't seem to think it's too good of an idea for him. I think it's awesome, uh, but I think it's definitely a little bit of a big project figuring the frame rails aren't exactly in the best condition. That one probably can be bent back. That one's going to have to be cut and repaired or cut. I don't, I don't know what's going to have to go on with that, but awesome motor, awesome chassis, 
Uh, for the most part, it's pretty factory. The color is pretty awesome. I don't think it's a factory color. Uh, it has been repainted. I don't know if it's been repainted a factory color, but you can see that it was originally uh, silver, I believe. So Chris literally just dropped this off at my house last night. I haven't had too much of uh, a walk around. He dropped it off while I wasn't here, so I don't really know too much about it. I, like I said, I don't even know what year it is. I also think he has some parts that came with it, like a lot of the front end stuff. Uh, you can see there's a fan, passenger footwell, a bunch of stuff in here. He's got some stuff all the way in the 240 front bash bar or something. Not really sure what's all in there. I knew a lot of you guys were gonna ask about the car in the background, so I figured I'd just do a little bit of an overview around it. Like I said, it's not my car, it's my buddy Chris's car, but you probably will see a lot of it on the channel, or at least we hope to see a lot more of it on the channel soon. And uh, we can continue painting the vet wheels very shittily. We got two layers on these things. I think that'll be enough for now. They don't look great, but at least they're black. Painted the tire a little bit. So much better. You can't actually tell how bad they are on the film, so that's all that really counts. While we're waiting for our caked on paint to dry on these ones, we can take a look at this side. You can see, looks halfway decent. This is a similar color to what the new wheels are gonna be refinished. You have to admit, it looks a little bit better. Frank gave me some flake for the crust setup for when I, it's time to paint it. And uh, we just thought that we might wanna do some hot boy wheels. And uh, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how one wheel looks. And then we'll go from there and possibly do the rest. I get spraying. <laughs> if you guys want my perfect technique, you gotta fucking, you gotta do this. So we're gonna cake it on and then you're gonna do your little technique. My engine base. Are you ready? Rob? It looks sick though. I think the flake would have been cool had we done it to all of them. But I think for now, I'm just gonna paint this one over again. I'm not really feeling the flake right now. I don't know what I think about the black. I think it looks better than the gray. That's for sure as hell. Um, why don't you guys let me know what you think. Maybe I should paint my spares some crazy color or something. Maybe I should paint them pink or something since I do plan to change the color uh, to a little bit darker color. I don't really know what I want to do with them. But I think for now they look good. Especially since those are my main wheels and tires for now. Anyways guys. That's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little shorter than usual. Well, probably just as short as the rest of the video since you guys give me shit for that all the time. That's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video and peace out.